This video will demonstrate multiple features of portal hypertension as seen with an EUS endoscope. First example is ascites. The transducer is located within the stomach and a large pocket of fluid can be seen outside the gastric wall. Note the contours of this fluid are not well circumscribed as they are following the tissue planes within the peritoneum. There's also a loop of bowel seen floating within the ascites fluid. Splenomegaly is also easily identified. Normally the spleen is considerably smaller than the liver. In this case, with the transducer in the mid-stomach, a very large spleen is seen on the right-hand side of the screen. Splenic and portal collateral vessels are also easily identified posterior to the stomach. In this case, on the bottom half of the screen, multiple tortuous vessels are seen arising near the splenic hilum and extending across the bottom half of the screen. In addition to these collaterals, some of these vessels penetrate into the wall of the esophagus and thus are esophageal varices. These blood vessels seen at the top of the screen do not cross the wall of the stomach and are thus collaterals and not gastric varices. Again, esophageal varices are very easily identified with the EUS scope, sometimes in the absence of endoscopically visible varices. Gastric varices can also be easily identified, and EUS is particularly useful in distinguishing between gastric varices and large gastric folds. Note in the bottom half of the screen, the large anechoic vascular structures within the wall of the stomach. These are diagnostic gastric varices.